Dental x-rays are an important tool aiding in the diagnosis of dental caries or cavities, periodontal or gum disease, and assorted other problems. Let's define full series of x-rays or FMX. A full series is comprised of 16 to 18 films and provides accurate images of an entire adult dentition. Fourteen of these films are called periapicals and two to four of these films are called bite wings. Teeth which have been damaged by dental caries or which have been fractured due to trauma need to be restored to proper form and function. The two primary ways to rebuild teeth are with restorative materials and cast or laboratory fabricated restorations. The other major restorative material is composite resin. Composite resins are available in a two-part system which self-cure, hardening in three to five minutes after being mixed together. Composites are also available which light cure. These harden by an ultraviolet light in 30 to 60 seconds. The light cure composites are extremely fast and convenient. Composites are available in many shades, making it possible to place restorations which are practically invisible. Patients who have badly damaged teeth restored with quality restorations like crowns and onlays will have fewer problems with their teeth. These quality restorations will decrease the likelihood of the patient needing a root canal or an extraction at a later date because the tooth is now much stronger than it would have been with a large filling. Quality restorations are a little more expensive initially, but pay for themselves in the long run as a result of fewer problems. You get what you pay for. We always try to educate our patients about the benefits of quality dental restorations. Gingivectomy involves removing infected or damaged gingival tissue or gum from around the teeth. Removing swollen tissue by performing a gingivectomy procedure eliminates periodontal pockets and makes it easier for the patient to clean the plaque from around the teeth. Performing a gingivectomy procedure is very similar to trimming cuticles from around your nails. Removing the swollen tissue eliminates the periodontal pockets around the teeth and makes it much easier for the patient to keep these areas clean. Using implants is another way to replace a single tooth or multiple missing teeth. An implant is a device implanted or embedded in the patient's bone to replace the root of a missing tooth. On this x-ray, we can see that the tooth on the left has been restored with endodontic treatment, a post and core, and a porcelain veneer crown. The tooth on the right has a dental implant restored with an all porcelain crown. Another use of implants is as an abutment in the construction of a fixed bridge. Implants can also be used to stabilize full dentures. A simple extraction is where the tooth is removed without any complications. Sutures are usually not used with simple extractions. A surgical extraction is a term used to describe an extraction when difficulties are encountered in the removal of the tooth. This usually necessitates removing bone to get the tooth out. In this situation, the teeth often come out in pieces or are sectioned by the doctor. Sutures are usually used with surgical extractions to close a surgical site or socket. 